Ohayo! My name is Mimi Toku and welcome to 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors part 26. Last time we left off in the middle of the conversation with Clover. I'm so sorry about that, but I was running out of time. So let's continue the conversation about the ship of Theseus, or uh, what, 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 what was it called, and some other stuff because it is a legitimate question and by the way I'm recording this before the other episode goes out so sorry if I can't answer to your comments right now which you might may have left on the last video or maybe part of your right side is made from a cow you ate yep. if you take it a little further those cows and fishes are made from something else too right mm -hmm. that's how we're all connected through fields that can't be seen with the naked eye. Yep. Silence was broken by sun. Of course. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? Of course, he's interrupting at all the best times. Seven's head appeared in the doorway. He was not happy. How long are you gonna make me wait? Sorry, Seven, we are discussing something interesting. We don't have time to screw around. Ah. Uh, <sighs> Hmm. Junpei and Clover looked at each other. Clover looked at Junpei as if to say there was more she wanted to tell him. She shook her head. Whatever she had to tell him, she didn't want to tell him in front of Seven. Hmm. So, yeah, you were gonna tell me something. But I guess that we'll have to wait until another time. Sorry, Clover. Seven seemed to catch on. What were you two doing? Was this some sort of secret meeting? Kind of? No, it wasn't. We were just... Just... Playing. With the mannequins. More or less accurate, I would say. Mm, playing with the mannequins. Why won't you just say discussing the mannequins? Huh? Let's go, Junpei. <laughs> Moving a little bit too fast to be entirely innocent, Clover headed towards the exit. Oh yeah, she has the um, young girl bonus. Sun stared after her, then turned to Chumpei with an amused expression. Playing with mannequins, huh? Not what you think, Seven. Didn't know you were into that kind of thing, Junpei. Mm, no. <sighs> <sighs> You're a dick. Yep, you are. Chumpei dashed past him and traced Clover's path out of the door. With a short laugh, Seven followed. They stood in front of the door. Chumpei took out the Jupiter key. Alright, I'm gonna open it now. Is that cool? You don't of need course. to keep asking, just do it, alright? Yeah, just do it. Fine, then. He slid the key into the keyhole and turned it. He felt it unlock. Ooh. The door opened with a soft, melancholy creak. Wasn't wasn't the last comment on this like uh, the door opened with a sound of uh, of an old woman or something? <sighs> Beyond it lay a simple white hallway. Um, that's black, not white. There was no fanfare or confetti. What would you, what would you expect? Obviously, there was no one there to applaud them. We so you want confetti and uh, applause and something? Um, well, for the confetti, you're a little bit too late because I put some on the thumbnail for uh, last Sunday's special video because it was my one year anniversary of producing videos on YouTube. We, But nevertheless, let's go back to the game. They simply walked through the door. That was it. All right, let's get going. Hey man, what's up with you? Yeah. You're so serious, you know? Can't you sound more happy, you know, get a little excited? For what? <sighs> like, way we made it through the door! Like this? Not really. Junpei turned away from Seven and took his first step down the simple white hallway. Or are you just 
mad at Seven and you don't want to cooperate with him anymore? <sighs> What's up with my you? My brother might be dead. Ah, that's why. I'm going to be next. Yeah, she said that. But Seven isn't dead. Seven isn't dead. Trust me, Clower. But yeah, in, in the last play few, you, you were next. But we still don't know exactly why. Clower had told him only a few minutes before that her brother was probably dead and she was likely to follow him. Like hell I can. Not after hearing something like that. True that, true that. And we actually found the exit. So let's see what's past that white hallway. Why am I looking at the ceiling? They left the operating room. The hallway took them around several corners and past several doors, but they were all locked. You too, huh? Mm -hmm. Every door in this place is locked up tight. Yeah, because it's not part of the game. How about that one? That seems manageable. The final door was hidden in a corner of the hall. Oh, you mean? May as well give it a try. Yeah, I think this is where you come back to the start. Junpei grabbed the handle. As he made to push it open, a voice stopped him. The voice came from behind him and belonged to neither Seven nor Clover. Jumpy! June, it's June. Huh? See, we met again. He spun around. He saw someone running toward him from the other end of the hallway. Whee! There are three people coming toward Junpei and his companions. June? Well, won't you jump at him and hug him and stuff? I mean, you ran all the way here. And Santa! And Lotus too! Wee! They pulled up short in front of Junpei, breathing hard. Oh! What the hell is this? Uh, we met? What are you doing here? We went through a puzzle room? What? But we didn't... Before he could finish Clover's Hey spoke. guys! Could you come take a look at this? At what? She was standing near the end of the small hallway that branched off to the to the right. The rest of them ran over to her, curious as to what she'd found. Look on the wall here. Which wall? There was something on the wall at the end of the hallway. A map. A map of the ship's interior. Why are those maps just li laying around everywhere? I mean, in the in, in the last playthrough with the safe ending. We found this map somewhere in a room, not uh, on the wall of the hallway. It says sea right? deck. Uh, where does it say sea deck? So it's the map for this floor then? Door seven and door eight. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. Yep. Okay, this time you didn't need long explanations that this probably was the hospital room or something. In fact. Yeah. Isn't that what I said? We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door 9. Yeah, you said that. We might get separated that. for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door 9. Mm-hmm. That's how the nonary game works. Yeah. I see. Chimpy looked at the map of the ship's interior again. Wait a sec. Hey, could this lead to... Wait a second. Weren't they coming from here? I mean, we were coming from here, right? We are standing in this door and it said that there were people coming running from the hallway to the right. But there... That can't be because here's a wall in between. What the hell, game? As he looked more closely, his surprise and excitement gave way to weariness. Oh! You've got to be kidding me hospital room. One by one, the others saw what he'd seen. We may as well go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They moved as one for the oh, door. Oh, uh, almost forgot. We should keep this. He pulled the map of the ship's interior off the wall, put it in his pocket and followed the others. The six of them stood in front of the door, arrayed in a semicircle. Santa stepped forward. He took hold of the door and spoke without looking back at door at the other five. Ready? I'm gonna open it. 
Slowly, all five nodded their silent assent. With a deep breath, Santa threw the open the door. Threw the door open. Threw open the door the door. Threw the open the door. Me good reading. Mm. They poured through the doorway and into the room. Even without looking, each one of them knew where they were. I knew it. They were just where the map had said they would we're be. We're back. Wee, hospital room. Hi there. In the hospital room. Hmm. Party. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. Oh, Ace is awake again. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. Okay, listening to Ace's voice after after such a long time, and then in English, it just I just got the feeling, what the heck is this voice? Because I'm so I was so used to the Japanese voice acting. <laughs> you solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory, mm -hmm. and then met one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. Yep. He looked like anyone might after just only waking up, but it seemed that his brain was working as well as ever. Mm. I, I'm still not quite sure if that wasn't just a little act on your own. I mean injecting oneself with, let's say, some drug? Well. You knew it was a drug that puts you to, to sleep, but still, I, I still believe that this this too was an act because we know who Ace really is by the, by this time. He had managed to grasp, summarize, and understand each team's At report. Any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. <laughs> I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. Here. You you even call it a show yourself. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. I, I still don't believe you were, were asleep. He shook his head with a rueful smile. Well, we saw each other again and we ain't dead. So I say that's good enough. Mm-hmm. True that. Anyway, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. Yep. Uh, the key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Oh. Right, Junpei? Yeah. Yep, that one. Junpei nodded. Oh, the solar system keys. Yep. Actually, we found one in the laboratory, too. Here. Wee, the, the Earth, Earth key. key. Lotus dug out a still warm key. A still warm key with an Earth symbol on it? What's that supposed to mean? I might listen. And Probably better if you hold on to it. Um, that way it won't be my fault if it gets Yeah, my, my question again, where where do you where do you put it? I don't see any pockets on you. Yeah. On it. And with that she pressed it into Junpei's hand. He felt slightly less than honored. Ah, we have three keys <laughs> that we haven't used yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Jupiter key that we found in the operating room. Well, we kind of already used it the saturn key card we found in the kitchen mm -hmm. and the earth key lotus just gave me yep chumpe took the new keys into his pocket june spoke up the jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway right mm -hmm. yeah if the map's right then it connects to the central staircase then next to the this stairs one. wait they were the first words anyone had heard out of Clover in quite some time. Um, not quite. Let's just check where we are. We are here. No, we are here. Right before a new, new decision. We went straight the last time. But we want to end up here or here. And we still haven't followed that path. So I'll jump ahead and I'll see you when we make the next decision. So this is right after the jump with those seven pieces. The piece of paper they'd folded up lay on the ground next to Chunpei's legs. Yep, they're gonna decide with, with those seven pieces uh, of folded paper. 
who is going through which door. Everyone had written on paper, pulled from Chunpei's notebook in an effort to pull together a blind just vote. double checking, but everyone wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? Oi. Yes, just like you told us earlier. <sighs> Can't believe we're voting here. Kiki. <laughs> Why had they decided to vote that way? We need to make the whole thing fair, blah de blah. This is a complicated <laughs> plan, you know. I mean, you, you, you just could say out loud, but well, then... And it's not random who gets to say their wish out loud first, so yeah. Hurry it up, Mr. I have a brilliant idea. <sighs> they decided it wasn't fair to simply ask everyone at once. That would allow, pe allow people to force others to go through certain yeah, doors. Yeah, yeah, quiet in the peanut gallery. Yeah, yeah. And he had a plan. It wasn't a plan he wanted anyone catching wind of, however. So he did his best to act calm as he began to open and read the pieces All right, of paper. Let's open these up. Oh, wait. The first one says, Ace requests door one. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? No. No, we don't have time for that. Sorry. Let's keep going. Yep, by that time we are already short on time. He opened the second Next one. To Santa. He wants door six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I wrote. Chumpy continued with the third, fourth, and fifth pieces of paper. Over wants one, Lotus wants two, and Seven also wants two. So wait, Clover and Ace makes five. Junpei is six, so he... Yeah. No, that would be door number two. Mm. Because you see, for the true ending, I want to go through door number one, too. So, hmm. Uh, wait a minute. There is no way I'm going anywhere with the elephant man. Yeah. No, there'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. True I... that. Just give it up, Lotus. It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. <laughs> That's not a grandma. I'm not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. Wait, you're not even... You're not even go gonna scold him for grandma? Barely. So, last I checked, that's not a crime. Well, yeah, the most important parts are hidden, but I, I wouldn't walk around like this, especially not on a cold ship. Maybe, but what about common decency? Mm. Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. Raisin? It's not a grandma! Oh, I'm gonna kill you! Yeah, get down, wrestling. Lotus' hair flared out like the mane of oh, an angry lion, good. and she roared with a voice that shook the walls. Well, I always thought Ace was a lion, but yeah. And let Ace is go, in it too. Go of me. I'm killing him. <laughs> with some difficulty, Ace managed to restrain her. Jumpei, read the rest. <laughs> uh, right. Six pieces of paper. He opened it. June wants door six. Six. Yes. I don't really have a reason. I just felt like it. All, uh, all of the papers say safe June piece had been read. He did some quick calculations in his head. So this was everyone's vote. Ah, so you're just gonna throw your own. Ace and Clover requested door one. A deck near the central staircase. Seven and Lotus requested door two. Mm hmm. Bottom of. Bottom deck. Yeah, I think that's. That's where we went the last time. We, we, we don't want to go there. Santa and June requested door six. Which is here. Door. The door in E deck could be reached by taking the elevator near the central staircase. The door I should choose is. I want one. It took him less than a second to run the numbers. He opened the sound of piece of paper and okay. spoke. The last one is mine. I want to go through. Door number one. My choice is door one. Saint Santa was unconvinced. Hey, wait a minute there. You cheating? Cheating? I'm asking if you changed your number after you heard what doors we wanted. Of course he How did. How could I do that? I wrote it down on the paper earlier. Let me see that. Sure, here. Chumpei shrugged and handed it to him. Santa examined it furiously. The others peered at, his well, at, at it as well. 
As they did, Chompei quickly slid the piece of paper he'd been hiding into his pocket. Although he'd never know it now, Santa had been justified in his suspicion. Chompei had switched papers. I had three pieces of paper ready. For doors one, two, and six. Back the one with door six on it into the pot. Hmm. He put a small mark on it so that he would know which one was his. I just needed to make sure I drew last. After I saw everyone else's result, I just chose whatever door I wanted. Yeah. Cheater. If the number I'd already put in matched, then I didn't have to switch the paper out. Well, what does it say? He fought the urge to smirk. <laughs> you got lucky. Why? Santa snorted and tossed the paper aside for us. Very well. We've decided who will go through door one. It will be Clover, Junpei, and myself. But that... That isn't enough. We, we make up 11, so that's a digital root of 2. Wait, Junpei... Ah, Junpei is 5, not 6. Mmm, <clears throat> crap. Our only problem is the two remaining teams. Yep. June and I want door 6. Lotus and I want door two. That's not good. No. Nope. We can't open either of those doors with only two people. Nope. So you just <sighs> rearrange yourselves. Aw. Aw. Fine. Seven, we'll go through door six. Mm -hmm. Sure thing. I didn't really want to go through door two anyway. Besides, if we've got a younger girl with us, it'll lower the average age. <laughs> Seven, what's wrong Thank with you? you? Uh, well, I... Chunho was at a loss of four words. Yeah, I would be too. Lotus was not. Of course she wasn't. Pig. You just wait and see. <laughs> Lotus's image is just floating, around, just floating through the screen. That was a nice animation. Her eyes were the eyes of a woman prepared to kill. A shiver ran down Chunpei's spine. Ooh. Nice ghost story. For summer days, I would say. Not for winter days. No, now you're so getting mad. Pain in the ass. No, now you're getting mad. Before you weren't even getting mad about, about the grandma, but just about the clothes. What the heck? They're about as subtle as a brick. And they're at it again. <laughs> Have fun, you two. <laughs> Even after they separated at the staircase, Lotus was still muttering angrily to herself. I'll see you later, June. Bye. Jumpy. Circumstances dictated that Junpei and June would have to part ways again, but this time it didn't sting quite Don't so much. Don't that face. It'll be like what Seven said. We are going to be, be split, split up permanently till we find door nine. Yep. We, might we might get separated, separated for a little while, while but we'll, we'll see, see each other, each other again. again. Otherwise, hi, we won't be able to open hi, door nine. Hi. That's how the notary game works. Sam's word took a weight off of Chumpe's shoulders and felt much better. Even It'll though Seven is a jerk sometimes. All right. See you later. Bye. Lingering uneasy remained, but they went their separate directions without much trouble. Good. Chumpe Ace and Clover headed toward A deck. Here's A deck. It was the door on the left, right? I am just a little bit concerned about Ace and Clover being in the same team this time. That should be it, yes. Then here we go. It opened and they walked through. It's just as Santa and Lotus said. The end of the hallway said that at a door a door with a large red one upon a it. Numbered door. To the left of it, bolted to the wall, was the red. There's the red. I'll go first. Hi. Ace went first and waved his wrist over the scanner panel. Now the two of you, if you would. Chumpei was next. And then Clover. <laughs> Finally, listlessly, Clover lifted her arm. I, I think that was also the instance which we skipped, where Ace's body was discovered. Well, Ace, not Ace's. What, what, what is his name? Nirisu. Snake, snake, snake's body was discovered. I was just stuck in in Japanese there for a while, sorry. She leaned toward the scanner panel. There you go. And just... Now. Now. 
pull the lower. Are you ready? Shall I pull it? Yeah, yep. Anytime. And then run for your life. Clover said nothing. She nodded a little more than a lethargic twitch of the head. Very well then. A three, two, two one. one. Door open and go. Run. And it's open. <laughs> they stumbled into the room. Mm -hmm. Where? Where is it? Frantically, Junpei scanned the room. There is it. His eyes stopped on the device that would re determine whether they lift or died. Uh, there it is! Over there! Next to the door they'd, they'd ca ca come through was... What? Next to the door they'd come through was dead. Sometimes it's just hard to read. As one, they ran to it. They put their hands over it as if they were fighting for it. There we go. And pull. Stopped. Yes, it did. We Chumpy could feel his heart pounding in against the inside of his ribs. Ace and Clover were breathing hard and fast. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. Better not. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. Mm -hmm. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. Yep. <laughs> I agree. Now then. Chumpy looked around again, this time more slowly. So we're There's in this door. small room with another door. Let's try opening it. He took hold of the knob and easily, gently pulled it open. So, this is the wheelhouse? So it's the captain's quarters. He closed the door again and turned to Ace and Clover. He fixed each in turn with a meaningful stare, then spoke. Ace, you investigate the wheelhouse next door. Very well. <laughs> wow. You. You are bossy as heck now, Chumpy. Clover, you're in charge of this room. Uh, Say something. Okay, I will. What the heck is up with you, Chumpy? Right, Let's get started. I mean, the, the, the skip parts should be the same, nevertheless. So what 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 was this? Chumpy, you're acting weird. Charge room. Okay, let's just investigate everything. We have some charts and maps. Uh, can I close it again? No, I can't close it. Oh, there we go. A chair. A chair. Clara isn't talking much. Well, I guess that's understandable. I mean, she's been through a lot. Really, it's more surprising that she's still together enough to talk at all. Mm-hmm. A lamp. Looks kind of wilted flower. True that. So here we have this. A clock. Or a pocket watch. There's nothing there. So what else do we have? A voice he hadn't expected startled Chumpei from his examination of the pocket watch. Oh, pocket watch. Might I take a look at it? What the heck are you doing here? He spun around to find a standing in the doorway. Chumpe shrugged and handed him the pocket hey, watch. Hey, man. What are you doing over in this room? Yeah. Oh, I just thought I'd come check up on the two of you. Is there a problem? <sighs> what should I do? Well, it doesn't matter. I think it doesn't matter what we answer here. Uh, not a problem, well, but... Well, not a problem, but... But what? That's a lie. I wanted to get rid of Ace. Mm -hmm. I sent him to the wheelhouse at the beginning for a reason. Because he wanted to talk to Clover. I wanted to talk to Clover alone. There's something I want to ask her. And Ace doesn't doesn't let us. I don't want anyone to overhear us. I'm pretty sure Clover won't talk if there's anyone else around. Mm -hmm. I'm a little desperate to send him back. Quick, he has to leave. Ace opened his mouth, then took another look at Junpei and shut it again. A small smear appeared on his face. Oh, oh. I see, of course. Hmm. You pervert! He looked Junpei over, then glanced at Clover. I apologize for the intrusion. Are you pervert! Well, best of luck. Hmm. Ace gave Junpei a knowing pat on the shoulder and laughed. 
You jerk! <sighs> Junpei let out a sigh and brushed a few drops of sweat from his forehead. He turned and found himself looking straight into Clover's eyes. She'd heard what Ace had said. She regarded Chumpei with caution. What was that about? <laughs> yeah. She was clearly suspicious and with good reason. Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah, then stop looking at her like that. <sighs> Chumpei's eyes widened and he, f he held up his hands in a gesture of innocence. I didn't do anything. Oh, uh, no, 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 it's not like that. What's it like <laughs> then? I just wanted to hear the rest of that story. I didn't get a chance to ask you about it until now. Hmm. What story? The one you were telling me in front of the mannequins. About the experiment, remember? The one you started to tell me in the operating room? Yep. You said something about an experiment that happened here nine years ago. Clover bit her lip. She stared down at the floor for several long moments, and when she spoke, it was barely audible. I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk about that right now. Mm. I'm just not in the mood, okay? Is it ever the right time to talk about this? Uh. You understand, right? I'm just... I keep thinking about my brother. He isn't that. I can't stop. I mean... Who would do something like that? He isn't that. <sighs> Clover, he isn't that. Can't forgive them. I'm not gonna let them get away with it. They're gonna pay for it. I promise. We vengeful thoughts. So so Her shoulders were shaking. Drops of blood had sprung up on her lips where she was biting them. She wiped it off and looked up at Chunpei, her eyes fierce and Junpei. angry. Who do you think did it? Her voice was cold and scarcely above a whisper. Chumpy gulped. Well, if what Seven said was right, then there would have to be at least two of them. Mm-hmm. So... We will solve this in the next episode, because I'm already running out of time again. I mean... I just feel like I started this episode five minutes ago, but no, I started it more than 30 minutes ago. So, yeah, I don't want um, the episodes getting too long, so sorry if I cut here again. But I think it's it gives also some time for me and for you to think about what just happened in this episode. So, thanks everybody so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay true to yourselves. Us.